Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tiny tutorial, I'll teach you how to add a mobile logo to your Squarespace website. You can actually use a completely different image than the logo that's used on the desktop version. And you can specify the size for your mobile logo. To do both of these, all we need to do is hop into edit mode and hover over our site header until we see the option to edit the site header. Clicking on that button, we can navigate to the first option in our global settings menu, site title and logo. From here, if you scroll down, you'll see we have the opportunity to upload a mobile logo. Click on that right there and it'll open up the file explorer on your computer, or you can simply drag and drop the image right there into that gray square and it will upload to your site. Now that we have the image there, let's click on the mobile preview of our site so we can see it's way too tiny. I'm gonna select edit site header again, hop into site title and logo, and here we can adjust the height to make it larger or smaller. Drag and drop that to the left or the right, or enter in a specific pixel value right there for how you want your logo to be displayed. When you're all done, select Save on the top left-hand side, and you'll be good to go. I'll show you how we got there one last time. On any page on your website, select Edit, and then hover over your header until you see the option to edit the site header. From here, you can select Site Title and Logo, and if you scroll down, you'll have the option to upload a mobile logo image. I'll remove that so you can see what it'll look like. You can click here to open up the file explorer on your computer or just drag and drop an image right there into that square and it will upload to your site. You'll notice this is the mobile logo and it's different than this logo image for our main site. Let's go ahead and hop into the mobile preview and take a look and there we go. Now if you select edit site header, hop into site title and logo, you can also change the size of that logo by adjusting its height, dragging that marker to the left or the right to make it smaller or larger or entering a specific value right there. When you're all done, just make sure you select save on the top left hand side and you'll be good to go. For more tiny tutorials like this one, visit insidethesquare.co.